Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where we are going to talk about something super exciting and that is the new palette by Nomad. Look at this. It's so pretty. It is inspired by Romeo and Juliet and Verona. Nomad Cosmetics is a destination inspired indie brand. I'm super excited to be digging into this palette. I hope you're excited too. We're going to do two different looks and this channel is all about colorful makeup. Don't forget to subscribe. So we're definitely doing color, color, color. <laughs> This palette is launching on the 24th of January and I'm kind of thinking, I'm kind of thinking that this one, this one opens in the middle, that it's going to be $44, which is the price, look at this, which is the price of their other pa palette that has 9 plus 9 pens, which is like 18. Yes. Right? Yes. I have an A plus in math, all the way up to kind of advanced math. Can you tell? No, me neither. So this palette is inspired by Romeo and Juliet. It comes in this box um, that is the same. And on the back side of the box, you can see the shades. And the back of the palette, the shades are in Italian, but in the inside of the palette, the shades are in um, English, which I, I kind of wish that they would have made the shades in uh, Italian on the inside as well because this is the, the destination is Verona in Italy. I haven't been, I would love to go, but I was trying to do these shades together with my husband the other day because my husband is half Italian and he was like, some of these are correct, some of these are not. <laughs> but I think I'm like, Pagnali, Giulietta, Morte, Veleno, Os Oscuro, Cupido, Balcona. Am I, am I even in like the same Penne Docha? Docha. That's Quill. I think. Unless I'm butchering another language. And for that, I would say, I'm sorry. I think the palette is beautiful. There's definitely a love side and uh, a, like, a, a love and a death side. And I kind of want to do, like, I have this red on now. I did just recently, if you want to see a pink and red, like, Valentine's-inspired look, I did one with the Valentine's Mystery Box by um, Unearthly Cosmetics, and that was just up on my channel. I did a red and pink look there. So I think I'm going to stay away from doing a typical red and pink look. But if you get this palette, you could definitely do that exact look with this palette as well, because there is a matte red and a matte pastel pink. So you could do the same one. So if you want a third look, I will link that video down below. You could definitely use that look as inspiration as like a third look for this one. I do have a code with Nomad Cosmetics. My code is in Jeshka. You can get 10% off Nomad Cosmetics, either this palette or anything else from the brand. I did quite recently recently uh, in December have a video which was me ranking all of the Nomad Cosmetics palettes. I will link that one as well down in the description box in case you want to get some inspiration if you wanted to pick something more up. I think this one looks beautiful. The last palette that Nomad Cosmetics had was that holiday palette. I didn't love the shimmers in that palette and I also didn't love the color story. Here, I love the color story. It goes from light to deep in mattes and shimmers. There are some duochromes in here and I am extremely inspired and extremely excited. So let's do two looks. Let's zoom in, let's do the first look. I'm gonna do something with the red because I'm wearing this one and there is this beautiful like on the love side here, there's this beautiful like red with like a gold sheen and I really wanna use that one and do something with that. So I'm we're doing that one. I think I'm going to mix the sides with each other instead of doing one with one each side. I, I, I feel like playing around. So it is a little bit hard to hold this palette up uh, without like totally <laughs> showing everything in the mirrors. But I think I'm going to be using this one and I think I'm going to be doing the red in the middle and I'm going to be using this one. So we're starting with those shades. I think I'm going to do just a red smoky eye. I think that's what I'm going to do. And we'll just like take it from there, I guess. I think I'm going to actually start with the... It's called dark. Okay. So it's called dark. And we'll do something with the blue in the next look. Oh, I don't even have an eye primer on. Who am I? I'm going to be using my favorite eye primer, which is from Sigma. Everything that I have on my face, if you're wondering about my foundation, if you want to know about the launch of this, if you want to see what my code is, everything is in the description box, including my other socials, uh, my vlog channel. Like you, you will be able to find everything in the description box. I tend to fill up my description boxes a lot, so don't forget to check there first. So now I'm going in with the color dark, and I'm just putting that out here in the outer corner and in the 
outer half of the lid and I just am going to use this to darken up my outer corner and since I want this to be as dramatic as possible to get the drama that I really like in a look I am starting out with this one just to make sure that I'm getting this to be as dark as I want have you ever been to Verona like I would love to go my husband has been there he said like it's not a place that you go for like a week but like for a day trip or like for two days it's perfect I decided to do it on the lower part of the eye as well. Look at how sexy that looks. That looks incredible. I can tell that it goes out a little bit more on this side. There are so many more colors like on this side. Oh my God, this palette is a little bit cumbersome to film with. There are so many shades on this side that I could have used to blend it out this purple with, but I'm gonna pick the, the red one that's called Love. But I like that these colors really go together even on the different sides so that you don't have to pick the shades that they picked for you. <laughs> like you can go with other colors if you want to. So now I'm gonna go in with the shade that's called Love. Oh, look at how that picks up. It's like, oh, I love a red eyeshadow. So we are gonna do that. I'm gonna put that in the inner part here. <laughs> I love it. I love it i'm just pushing it into the crease oh that is so pretty and i'm just i'm pushing it into the crease here and i'm gonna do the same on the other side and then we're gonna blend the edge am i gonna use a smaller brush with that maybe i just love this brush for applying and pushing in color That is so beautiful. Okay, so with a smaller brush, I love these kind of uh, brushes that look like this. And uh, I'm gonna apply some of the red and I'm just gonna blend over the edge. Having ever so little on, just to make sure that this one looks as blended as possible without looking muddy. We don't want muddy. Sometimes I feel like we over blend. That looks so yummy. So I use some of that under my eyes. I mean, look at that. Look at that. That so, so sexy. So incredibly sexy. So I'm gonna use the shade that's called Comedy. Let me pick it up on the brush and just show you because like it is red, but there is definitely like gold glitter in there. I am going to spray it. I don't want any fallout. Like, listen, I don't need any fallout. It looks very creamy though. And I want the gold to show up as much as possible. Hmm, It's not super pigmented straight out of the gate. Oh, but it shows up. Oh yeah, it definitely shows up. Just need to build it up a little bit. This, listen, sometimes you like, you imagine looks, like you think of them in your head and you're like, oh, this is what I think the look is gonna look like. If I combine this with this, with this, this is what I think I'm gonna get. This is a million times better than what I had in my head. And let me tell you what I had in my head was pretty good, but that looks incredible incredible yeah i definitely need to spray it a little bit this comedy doesn't pick up amazingly on the brush i don't know if that's the brush or if it's me oh now it does okay maybe i just needed to get through the layer sometimes when there's pressed embossings in shades they're a little harder pressed and then you have to get through like the top layer that's pressed to really get into the pigment and I really felt like I did that there. So yeah, as you can tell, it definitely worked. I just needed to like rub my brush in there a bit. But that looks... Like I said, I thought that this look was going to be good, but I didn't think it was going to be this dramatic. What do I want to have in my inner corners? Am I going to do... Because there is this um, pink that's called Paradise. It's like a pastel pink like this. This is, ooh, 
yeah, 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 we're do doing this. This is the only shade that's like an inner corner highlight for me in the palette. And with this dramatic look, I think it could work. I feel like with the next look, we'll try and wrap the color around our eyes and not pay too much attention whether or not it's a highlight or not. Because this one really gives a lighter highlight. <laughs> I can't get over how good this looks. This is what dreams are made of. I mean, the way that I love this look, it is so cool, it is so sexy. It is like a, almost like a Galentine's, or if you're like, if you're single, if you're going clubbing instead of going on a date, this would be perfection. Or if you're like me, have a husband that loves color, he would really appreciate this. Or if you're like me and also don't care whether or not your like partner likes your makeup, because like, listen, wear your makeup for you. It's just very dramatic, it's just very fun. There are lighter colors in this palette. If you want to go a little more, more subtle, you definitely can. I'm not the subtle there but not there makeup kind of a gal. <laughs> I just more want to show like how bold can you go, how colorful can you go because I'm here to have fun with makeup. But yeah, this is look number one. Let's get into look number two. I'm back for look ooh, number two and I really want to play with the blue. Can you see anything? The blue here, and I want to play with the blue here, the Juliet. But I think I'm going to be blending it out with one of the pink. I'm thinking rose and balcony, probably. The ones that are like more like the pinky tones. I think I'm going to start with the blue though, because I want to make sure that I don't lose the blue. Because I think I'm going to do the blue and the pink, and then I'm going to blend them together. And hopefully that's going to turn a little purpley. But if I go in with the blue, if I go in with the pink first and then put the blue on top, I'm probably going to lose some of the blue because it's all going to turn purple. So I'm starting with Poison, which is the dark blue. It's really cute. And I'm getting some fallout. <laughs> so I definitely need to make sure to tap my brush off. Hmm. Hmm. You can see I got some of the pigment here, so I'm gonna have to fix that afterwards. It's a lot of kick up actually in the pan from that shadow, so just be aware. But I am gonna put this blue, I'm just tapping it off all the way in my crease because I do want it. I feel like I have a hair here that's like driving me crazy because I feel like I do want it to be a little purple here at the beginning. But I'm a little bit sad about that fallout. I don't love that. I cleaned up a little bit underneath here and I am going to go in. Again, I have a hair. <laughs> I'm going to go in and I'm going to put this. Just, I think I'm going to put it all the way in. We're going to do this a little bit different than the other look. We're going to make this even more smoky and even more dramatic. So I'm doing it all the way in. This is a really lovely color. I will say you do need to tap off the brush and there is some fallout uh, in the pan. Like there is some kick up in the pan, I should say, not fallout. So just know that there, th this is definitely a tap and you will get all the pigment you need on your brush. There is no need to be swiping or swirling. Well, you can see, this is so pigmented. <laughs> This is so pigmented. Okay, let me let me sort this out. So I think I think what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go in with balcony actually, which is the lighter, brighter pink, not the pastel, but like the lighter of the pinks. And I am gonna layer this one on top of the blue here in the beginning. And I'm gonna blend out the edge. I'm not gonna layer it down here. I'm gonna layer it on the edge over here and just in the inner corners and we're gonna blend this out and we are gonna see what we can get and now i'm going back with the brush that i had the blue without any additional product and i'm just with light light strokes. I'm just blending small circular motions over this edge and we're gonna see what we can get. I'm not really getting 
that purpley result that I was hoping for, but I still feel like we are managing this somewhat while still keeping it blue here, but getting it to go into a pink, which is what I wanted, because I didn't want it to be too... I don't want to... I don't want to say washed out. Why did I do that? Don't look at that. But I wanted it to have something that was still like blue, but not like the gray. I, I, I wanted to mix the sides. <laughs> ah! Okay, so I feel like I'm done blending the side so you can see with the pink and without the pink. And I mean, definitely you could keep it like this, but I wanted to bring this drama in. Is it the best blend I've ever done in my life? No, but I'm okay with it. Listen, we're not trying to do perfection. We're just trying to be good enough. Nobody's going to be this close to your face anyways. Just wrinkling their nose, judging your blending work. That only happens on YouTube. That doesn't happen in real life. We are good enough. Not perfect, good enough. But yeah, I'm keeping it like this. Let me fix this eye and then we're going to do the shimmery blue. And I am so excited because I swatched it and I think it's going to be perfection. Okay, so this is where we are. I feel like it's good enough. We're doing Julieta or Juliet as it is in English. And I'm spraying it. And I am going to put this all over. And yeah, I when I swatched this, I was like, oh, I have to do something with this all over. Because look at that. I'm really going to be packing this on the lid. Oh, that is so pretty. Is there a little... There's a little purple in there as well, which is perfect. Has a little bit of a purple shift, which is perfect because this look is leaning a little bit on the purpley side. That's even better than I had planned. <laughs> look at me accidentally hitting a jackpot. That is so pretty. I love the drama. <laughs> I'm just gonna blend this a little carefully into the blue. And then I am gonna do the blue. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more just on the absolute outer corner. Because I like the depth that that gives. Let me actually do... There is a shade here that's called Cupid. It looks like this like a pink, you can see the pink with the blue shift. Let me actually do that in the inner corner and a little bit on the low. I, why didn't I think of that? I have a sneaking suspicion that this is going to work out amazingly. Yeah, look at that. It's just slightly lighter and keeping it a little lighter in the inner corner since this one doesn't have the blue base. I'm just going to blow this out a little bit here as well i really like doing that i'm really liking this color story i'm liking that it's bringing both the love and the death because like i love something that has some drama in there as well and i really feel like this palette is bringing both which makes me really happy and i'm happy to see because this is what i wanted because like sometimes it's not that hard to do like a monochromatic color story. I mean, it's, it's not that easy either, but it's like, it's easier. But this is two sides that even though they work good on their own, they also work really good together. And that is something that I am looking for in a palette where colors that even though they're not the same color, they still work together in several different ways. That's how I like a color story to be. Okay, let me finish this up. I think I'm gonna... Should we do prans? If you know, you know. Prans is my favorite eyeliner pen of life. It has been for, what, five, six years at this point? I think I'm gonna do that in my work line. It's unfortunately discontinued. You can only find it in the set at Colourpop. But yeah, let me finish up the look with that and then we can have a final chat about this palette because I am really excited. The second look is finished and I'm loving the dramatic result. And I think that what I'm liking, this is always what I like with palettes. When I see that they have a good theming, a good color story, but still I'm able to get looks out of them that are so different from each other. And also that I'm able to mix colors with each other. They're not in the same color family, like a pink and a blue and the, the red with the purple, because I did two looks from the different sides. I really like this color story. 
and I was talking to my friends in like the group ch the group chat and I was saying I think this is my second favorite palette from Nomad Cosmetics. I still think that the uh, Monteverde Cloud Forest palette, I still think that that is my favorite palette from Nomad Cosmetics, but I think that this one is number two. I think this one is, is sneaking in and grabbing number two, which makes me very excited. I like this one so much and I am so excited about it and I cannot wait to wear it again. I think this is a great mix of brights with neutrals, lights with darks, the shimmers are light and they're so dual chromes and I just, I really think that this one is, I like it. <laughs> I like it a lot and it makes me super happy after not loving the last palette that they had which was that holiday release so yeah those are my opinions about the palette please let me know what you think which look did you like the most I like both of them I actually think I'm gonna see if I can film another video with this palette on with this palette with this look on because I'm loving the look so much I thought I was gonna be done but I'm like hmm you know when in Rome when in Verona, let's just film another look and just take advantage of having something fun on my eyes. I hope you don't forget to subscribe because I will see you again very, very soon with a new video. Bye!